So there might be a need where you will have to update, uh, increase the update process numbers. And in that case, how do we increase the work process numbers or how do we make changes to existing work process? We, to change the work processes, we need to go to RZ10 change mode, extended maintenance. Update the value for each of the work process. So we can, we'll have to select the instance profile and make the changes on parameter value. Save the changes once done and activate the profile. This is a dynamic parameter, which means that no server restart is needed. Just so that you know, in profile maintenance parameters are using RZ10 transaction. There are static parameters and there are dynamic parameters. And you can check which parameter is which using transaction RZ11. <coughs> But what it means is basically static requires the system to be restarted to come into effect and dynamic happens on the fly. So server start is not required for a dynamic parameter. So checking the parameter in RZ11, parameter check, you can display. And this is the switch, uh, this is the button. If it is switched, it means it's dynamically switchable. If not, it's static. SM51 can also be used uh, to monitor all the work process statuses. It gives a snapshot of any server, if any server or process goes down. So let's look at the transactions in the system itself. We go to SM50. It shows here uh, all the processes. So we have multiple dialog processes available waiting. We have one NQ, one update, one update, update UP2, one spool, and three background processes. And if we go to SM66, that's the global work process overview. We can go to a particular instance and we get the same view. So after selecting the server, we come to SM50 view again. But if we had, in this case, I just have one instance, but if we had multiple, you could take a look at each of the instances and you could double click and see. Now, this message type shows what are the processes which have been configured. So as you can see, an ICM has also been configured for this particular instance. Now, how do we change the parameters? So if I want to change the parameters uh, so in, and switch the dialog and the processes numbers, I'll have to go to RZ10. And I look at the instance profile. This is the original one. We go to extended maintenance. 
we say change as you can see we have one in queue process one update or one update to one spool three background and six dialog it's exactly the way it was shown because the work processes are controlled by these profiles now if i want to change it i just click on change um, before i do that let's see if i want to make two nq process and after i make this change i have to hit copy there is no save button here we'll have to hit copy it says changes have been made so i back out of the screen now and now we can see that the nq process is two again i have to say copy at the bottom it says the change profile was transferred nothing else was changed and we can go and look if that parameter was a dynamic parameter or a static parameter let's do that display display we have to copy this parameter go to rz11 to check if it's a static or a dynamic parameter say parameter name and it says it's not dynamic so which means the server needs to be restarted if that parameter has to change.